taking this video right into gear with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer. Applying it all over the face with my It's My Ray Ray Number no. 4 brush. And welcome back beauties. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. With my Maybelline sponge, I am applying my Revolution Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F16 to the outer parts of my face. Time for concealer. Applying with my Morphe 224 brush, I am using two products for concealer. My Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Truffle and my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 40. I'm going to blend that out with my Maybelline sponge and then afterwards I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 375 to act as my contour. Once I apply my contour in tapping motions, I am pressing in the contour with my BH Cosmetics 137 brush and like I said you want to apply tapping motions. The concealer is where you want to add light that will cast a light to your face and then the contour is casting a shade. Any areas where you would like to add shade, this perfect routine is perfect for pictures. Just the FYI. And it is okay that the sponge still has the foundation on it, only because that will help marry the foundation, the concealer, and the contour together. And as you can see, I'm applying it right under the cheek, across the forehead, on the temples of my head, right in between the eyes, on the sides of the nose, right under my jawbone, and on the sides of my cheeks. I'm sorry, on the side of my chin. To set all my conceal areas, I am using my CoverGirl Clean Professionals Loose Powder in the shade Translucent Tawny. And you want to press that powder into the skin using your sponge. And right now I'm just cutting the cheek as we call it. 
and this is to help give a more sculpted look and later on you're going to see me drag um, on the sides you're going to see me drag that powder down to help give it you know more blended look without any harsh lines to set my contour I am applying my cover Queen Ebony bronzer and to do that I'm using my BH cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray brush number three and you want to pat it into that liquid and also go into circular motions Using a clean wet and wild powder brush, I'm just wiping off any excess setting powder and marrying the contour and the setting powder together. And like I said, just dragging the translucent powder down the sides of my jaw. With the same contour powder brush, I'm applying blush using my Saharan 2 by Juvia's Blush Palette in Zora. Melting away the powder with setting spray. Eyes using my Ace Beauty Grandiose Palette and I am going to start with the shade Cinnamon. With my Morphe 506 brush, I am patting into my crease the shade Cinnamon and you want to apply um, as much of that shadow as you wish to get the desired pigmentation this will just help get a better color payoff so you can actually see the color on your lid then after that i am going to go right above that crease color with the shade clove to blur out those edges and then i'm going to deepen the crease using the shade poppy and then afterwards i'm going to do a half cut crease using the shade primrose which is a nice metallic gold this palette I got from my boxy charm subscription for the month of November you get about four to five products for about $22 a month if you're interested I'll link their website below Applying liner using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner, I'm going to create a baby baby wing that's just going to give me a little sass for this look. And then I'm going to apply my Lashaholic Luxury Lashes in the style Instagram, which also came in my BoxyCharm subscription. You can use any eyelash glue, of course. But I decided to use my dual eyelash adhesive and press in my lashes and the false lashes together. This is my IT Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. To join my lashes and the false lashes together and now applying those creased colors on my lower lid. Don't forget mascara for the bottom lashes. To help um, bring out those lashes. You can also go in with the eyelash primer. I use L'Oreal and now lining my lips with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil in Sima Brown now. For lipstick, I'm using my Maybelline New York lipstick in the style Truffle Tease and just blending that lip liner and the lipstick together to get my perfect nude shade. So along with my BoxyCharm box for the month of November, I also got the Cover FX Glitter Drops in the shade Nova. So I'm just going over the highlight that I already added to my face, which was the Pure Cosmetics Masquerade Midnight Face Palette that highlights shade Twinkle. I'm going over it with the drops. And the brushes came also in BoxyCharm. They are called Luxie brushes. And I decided to go and reinforce that gold that was on my lid also with the Cover 
FX drops and even though they're called glitter drops if you blend it out very well it will make a perfect highlight and even more beautiful on for pictures and I'm just using the Luxie brushes to go back on my eyelids and I'm not crazy about these brushes but it could give a more tedious it could be good for more tedious looks and that includes today's video thank you so much beauties for watching i hope you guys enjoy if so feel free to like share and comment below any looks i can do in the future and thank you so much for your love and support until next time bye